so and he was the type you couldn't make any noise. You couldn't talk. You couldn't step too loud on the boat. You couldn't hit the rod against the boat. Yeah, I was just, I was ready to get out of there every time. Then you met me. That's right. And, and you make it fun. Well, fishing is supposed to be fun. Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing in the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, coming to you from the Lance Chuck Camper Mobile Podcast Studio, Master Captain Angie Scott. Welcome, everyone, to this week's episode of the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast. I have a special guest with me this week. But before we get into that, uh, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to do a special series starting next week with uh, pulling out some revisited episodes that center around hunting. I know a lot of people, depending on where you are in the country right now, uh, what what you like to hunt for, um, that's kind of where your minds are. So uh, I thought it would be fun, since we don't do a lot of hunting episodes, to, to pull a few older ones out and reshare those uh, as I've got the LBA classic coming up on Lake Logan Martin. And then immediately after that, traveling to the Outdoor Media Summit. So uh, I figured that would be a good time to share those episodes with you guys. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my guest this week. And this is not her first time being on the podcast because uh, she was on with Brittany Howard, and we were up on Lake Erie. Um, and anyway, just want to introduce you all to the woman behind the scenes that allows me to be able to do this show and fish these tournaments, my wife, partner, Dana Scott. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. <laughs> so I just want to kind of talk about all the things that you do and since you're always behind the scenes, introduce you a little bit more to the audience so they know kind of how all this stuff functions. Um, but you you grew up in Tennessee, and you, you did quite a bit of fishing when you were younger. I did. I grew, grew up mostly on the lake. We did a lot of camping, um, a lot of fishing. My dad was in uh, with TWRA, so we were always out on the lake. Um, so, yeah, I fished a lot as a kid. Didn't like it, but <laughs> we did it. I remember you telling me one of the things you got to do was ride along with him, like when they were shocking the fish. Did yeah. Did you ever do that? Yeah. I mean, I didn't do it myself, but when they were shocking the fish to tag them or to keep up with whatever that, you know, they do with the fish. So yeah, I was able to tag along with, with that. Cool. What do you want to talk about why you didn't like fishing when you were a kid? <laughs> well, um, because I had a very impatient father that just did not make it fun. So, yeah. So, and he was the type you couldn't make any noise. You couldn't talk. You couldn't step too loud on the boat. You couldn't hit the rod against the boat. <laughs> yeah. I would just, I was ready to get out of there every time. And then you met me. That's right. And, <laughs> and you make it fun. Well, fishing is supposed to be fun, and that's, I always say, uh, Jen Ripple, one of her phrases is, fishing is fishing, and fishing is supposed to be fun. Yeah. So, I want to talk about all the things that you do, like I mentioned, to help support this crazy life adventure that we're on with between the podcast and uh, now fishing with the LBAA. Um, you are a very, very good and experienced Driver and trailer uh, maneuver, backer, upper. <laughs> how did you learn how to do that so well? Um, I really just taught myself. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so, we, you know, I learned how to drive a tractor before anything. And just pulling trailers and um, just over the years, I've just been, I've pulled horse trailers, I've pulled utility trailers, uh, boats, I don't really remember how I learned. I just taught myself, basically. 
Well, you're very good at well, it. Thank you. I actually enjoy it. <laughs> um, and one of the things you also enjoy to do is just not just helping me, but when we're on these tournaments, a lot of the ladies aren't as fortunate to have somebody with them. Um, and so you'll jump out and, you know, once we get in the water, you'll, you'll go and help other people in and out of the water. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually enjoy doing that. It's a lot of fun. We had a scary situation at that, uh, tournament. Which one? Where were we? Um, Louisiana? Yeah. C- Cato. Yeah. Where a storm came up. And uh, a lot of the ladies couldn't get, you know, had to wait for their trailers and stuff. But the waves were just blowing. And it was just crazy to watch. Well, they couldn't get they couldn't get them out quick enough because they couldn't even see who was out there to know to go get their truck. Yeah, the so, visi- visibility was so poor it was hard to tell what boats were out there and what trucks. Yeah, and uh, thankfully no one was injured. All the boats got in safely. I don't think anybody had any damage, so that situation worked out, you know, as best as it could. Yeah, so. So, uh, what do you enjoy most about our adventures? Um, I think just all of it wrapped up. I mean, I enjoy everything. I enjoy the camping part. I enjoy, you know, the, the trip, pulling the boat, um, getting you in and out of the water, having Sophie with me. I just, I just enjoy all of it, really. You mentioned the camper. Let's talk about the the Lance Truck Camper Mobile Podcast Studio. Um, what did you think about it when we first uh, decided to go that route? I was a little terrified. <laughs> I was very terrified to haul it mm. the first time I drove with it. Um, that's obviously gotten much easier and better. Um, but, yeah, it was scary at first, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I love it now. Yeah, we've fallen in love with the the truck camper, and we had to get some adjustments done and stuff like that to make it to where it drove the way it's supposed to. Um, But it's been super handy and and fun to be able to camp and not have to stay in hotels or Airbnbs. Yeah, very true. So before you met me, you didn't really do road trips like you do. No, we, I didn't. I hated to travel. <laughs> we never, we, I mean, we went to a couple of different places growing up, mostly to grandparents' house. But, um, yeah, being in a car for a while, a long time, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> so this was a total new adventure for me to be driving 10 to 12 hours to a tournament. And now, has it changed? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's better. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get out of the truck about hour seven now. It used to be hour two, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's much better. And us driving down to Florida, you know, I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. So we've got that coming up and we can talk about that. You know, Florida just recently got hit with that hurricane, we have a reservation at a RV park in Fort Myers of all places from the 1st of December to the beginning of March. And, uh, you know, when that storm hit, they were completely underwater several feet. And so there's a lot of damage, a lot of cleanup, but it's looking like we're still going to be able to go. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. They've been working really hard getting it cleaned up. Yep. They've got, uh, They've already got um, all the roadways cleared out from the tree tree branches and things like that. Um, they've got a plan to get the sewer system up and running. Sounds like fairly quickly. Electric's going to be probably another week or two, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. But we're excited to get down there and maybe even sooner if we can go down and help with some of the cleanup efforts. You excited about that opportunity? Actually, yes. I've just, I've been really wanting to do that. Um, I feel like it's our home, mm-hmm. our second home. So yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, I want to get down there and do our part. 
hopefully we'll be able to do that. And I know Freedom Boat Club uh, took a lot of damage in a lot of their locations down there. And so as part of what I do for a living, working with Freedom Boat Club, um, sounds like a lot of the employees are wanting to go down and help and get everything up and running again. So that'd be really cool. Yeah. So obviously we know we love Florida. Out of all the places besides Florida we've traveled, what are one or two of your favorites that you've really enjoyed? Uh, the one in Arkansas where we, uh, Craig and Jennifer with, mm-hmm. with Anchor Point, uh, campground. So that was a, that was a fun one. And Louisiana one actually. Yeah. That one in, uh, um, the first Louisiana one. Yeah. The cane, cane root, Natchitoches. Yes. Natchitoches. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. So, yeah, that was fun. It's always fun when you get to camp with other anglers too. Like yeah. those are always my favorite trips. So at Cane River, we had, um, Alyssa and Pam had their campers. And then this last one on both shoals, we, we camped with, uh, Pam Horn, Pam Horn and, uh, Pam Holwerda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then of course the other, uh, the Caddo Lake, we there we camped with Alyssa and Pam again. Right, yeah. And so that's always fun because you get to spend more time, you know, and kind of hang out. And you're you also taken on another role of uh, being a dog walker. Oh yeah, yeah. I take care of the anglers. Well, it's just the two poodles. <laughs> I take care of them. Uh, just take them to potty and whatnot while you're. Y'all are out fishing, so. Do you love the connections and things like oh, that? Oh, absolutely. That we make with the LBA? I do. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see. Yeah. All right. What are you, uh, what are you most looking forward to going into, uh, winter and, and next season? Uh, looking forward to getting down to Florida for the winter and just kicking off the next season. Like we always do, yeah. and just even big, better. Yeah, sounds like we've got some different places we're going to get to explore in 2023. So they just released the schedule. I don't have it in front of me, um, but there's like one in Georgia this time, um, another one in Texas, which isn't our favorite <laughs> because it's the furthest. Um, but this will be a different location, so it won't be the, the same body of water. Uh, it'll be a little further south. And, uh, I think we've got one in North Carolina or South Carolina one. And, uh, and then we're going back to Bull Shoals again. So we'll, we'll yeah. be, get to see our friends over there. Um, so that'll be fun. That'll be if awesome. we qualify to fish the classic, hopefully we will. So I'll do my best. We will. (laughs) Well, thank you for being on the show and kind of giving listeners a little bit of background. And uh, and thank you for everything you do, because I could not do this without you. Well, you're very welcome, and I thank you, too. 